Hi, my name is Philip King and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial on recording a macro using Microsoft Word. In this tutorial you'll learn how to make changes to your macro using the Visual Basic for Applications editor. If you would prefer a high resolution version of this video one can be downloaded from my website with a printable guide. Why would you want a macro? Well there's nothing quite like a macro for getting repetitive work done quickly. And although creating a macro can seem mysterious, it's really quite simple. So in this three-part tutorial, I'll show you the basics of creating, running and changing a macro for Microsoft Word. For my demonstrations, I'll be using Word 2003. But the techniques I'll show you can be used on any version of Microsoft Word. In part one, you learned how to use the macro recorder to turn your keystrokes and mouse movements into a macro code. You also learned how to run the macro using the tools macro menu command. In part 2, you learned how to assign a macro to a quick key or keyboard shortcut and a toolbar button so the macro can be run easily and quickly. So, continuing on from the last lesson, let's see how to modify our macro using the Visual Basic for Applications editor. Suppose you've had a change of heart and instead of changing old company name to new fantastic company name, you want the new name to be Really Brilliant Company Name. Does this mean all your previous time and effort creating a macro has been wasted? Not at all. There's no need to recreate the original macro with the new text. Instead, you can use a Visual Basic for Applications editor to modify the original macro. Now although the VBA editor is a complex programming tool, with a little care, everyone can use it to modify their macros without any problems. So let's get started and see how it's done. Open the document you are going to modify. To keep things simple, when editing macros using the VBA editor, only have the document you are editing open. Open the VBA editor by clicking the Tools tab and selecting Macro from the menu, followed by the Macros menu item. With the Macros dialog window open, select the macro we are going to edit, change company name, and click the Edit button. This action will open the Microsoft Visual Basic Editor window. You can edit the text in the right hand pane just the same as you would in Word or any text editor. Much of the code shown in the editor window won't make much sense unless you know VBA, but you can probably guess what's happening from the text. As our macro is doing a find and replace, we should be looking for text resembling that procedure. In this case, text equals old company name is obviously our find this text and replacement text equals the new fantastic company name the original new text. We want to insert the latest company name so change new fantastic company name to really brilliant company name. Use the save normal button to save the changes Close the VBA program and return to our Word document and let's see if our changes work. You can press the shortcut key combination or click the macro button we created in part 2 or use the menu system to run the macro. I'm just going to click the macro button and the changes to our macro worked. Not too difficult after all. More videos and tutorials can be found at my website. I'll see you there. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.